Hey guys, so today I'm doing a physique update and I did one not that long ago, but a lot has changed. So I lost five pounds in three weeks completely by accident because when I don't go to the gym, I naturally don't eat as much because I'm usually eating as much as I am to fuel my training and then I have to eat afterwards because I'm so fatigued. So naturally, I'm just eating so many more calories and when I'm not working out, I'm not thinking that much about how much food I need to be eating and I don't track calories or macros so I can easily go under my maintenance calories, which I did and then I was sick for an entire week and I took a total of like three weeks off from the gym. So I lost five pounds, which is frustrating because it took me a long time to gain that. I was gaining about half a pound a week, so do the math and that's a very long time. But with that being said, I have a nice starting point. So I look perfectly fine. I don't look malnourished. I feel fine but I do feel a lot more tired and it's just because I have not been eating enough food. So I'm getting back on track with eating in a surplus, still not tracking or anything like that. Um, just being more conscious about how much food I'm eating and kind of reminding myself throughout the day to eat enough food and drink enough water. So I posted a picture on Instagram a couple days ago. I'll have it on the screen um, and I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in reading the caption, but it is two photos side by side. One is from March, 2016 and one is from January, 2018. And it just shows you the fact that a lot can change even though the number on the scale may stay the same. So I'm 125 pounds right now, and I've not been 125 pounds since March 2016. So those two photos, I'm literally the same exact weight, but as you can see, so much has changed. I've put tons of mass on my quads, about three inches, almost three and a half, um, and I've put two inches on my waist, and those are two big things that usually change the way that you look, but I have grown my lats a lot more so my waist looks exactly the same size as it does in the photo on the left and I've also grown my quads a lot more so you can see the muscle mass that I've put on but I am still 125 pounds it's not about the number on the scale it's really about what you've done in the gym how much you've been eating and just your progress in the long run so I just wanted to point that out if you guys haven't checked out that post definitely check it out but Hope you guys enjoy the little physique update. That's really all I had to say. I'm not going to like ramble on because I'm going to have a couple videos kind of talking about what I'm going to be doing moving forward. So the main things are I'm hopping back into a caloric surplus. I'm going back to the gym four to five times a week. I'm going to start a new program. I'm going to be following Candido for squat and bench and not deadlift. I'm actually going to replace deadlift with front squats because um, I'm not deadlifting right now and then I'm going to be going back to school. I go back to school in, it's pretty close now, I don't even know what, to, let's see what today is. Today is the 14th so I go back to school in 15 days. I'm taking four or five classes, haven't decided on that last one yet but should be interesting. So I'm going to have to balance that. If you guys want a video on how I balance like school, nutrition, and fitness let me know. I can make it short and sweet, aka like eight minutes long to 10 minutes because I don't know how to stop talking. Um, so give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if that's something you're interested in. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know in the comments. And just remember that um, if you are trying to lose weight and that's how you got to this video, all you have to do is consistently be in a deficit. So just be below your maintenance calories. So you're just going to slowly decrease your calories to lose weight, whether you're doing macros or tracking calories or just eating intuitively. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And to gain weight, you're just going to slowly increase your calories. So I'm going to add about 50 to 100 calories a week. Um, if I were doing macros, that would probably be like 10 to 15 grams of carbs a week. I usually do like one to two grams of fat a week. And then um, I always keep my protein exactly the same if I am tracking protein. I'm not tracking anything, but that's usually how I do that. So just in case anyone was wondering and that's why you came to this video, I wanna give you something. But that's gonna be it for me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.